I picked the year 1911. 1911 was a year of discovery. But there was also some significant stuff going on around the world at that time. For example, the Mexican Revolution, which began in 1910, was still going on in 1911. The long-serving president, the long-serving Mexican president, Porfirio Diaz resigned and fled the country. And in the other side of the world, in China, the revolution had begun. And they overthrew the Qing dynasty, establishing the Republic of China. They elected Dr. Sun Yat-sen as the first ever president. And a big event involving art was the steaming of the Mona Lisa from the Louvre by Vincenzo Perugia. The painting was found two years later in 1913. A big invention at the time was the stenotype machines by word stones, which were basically typewriters. Also invented in 1911 was the seaplane by Glenn H. Curtis. He flew the first seaplane from the water in the U.S. Also at this time, Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas, was being rediscovered by American archaeologist Hiriam Bingo. Also discovered there was Tiwatana Urupamba, as well as many other nature discoveries. I think what was going on in the world, plus the recent discoveries of the Cubism movement, reached its peak in 1911 and helped create pieces like this one from Mark, from Albert Gliesis. Also, this piece created in 1911 from Diego Rivera. And this piece from Franz Mark. Eventually, the movement died in 1919, but it made the way for futurism and Dadaism. The Cubism was still remained well known in 1911. The major events going on around the world, the new inventions and the new geographical discoveries happening at that time, I think motivated artists like Picasso and Rivera to be part of the Cubism art movement and help it reach its peak in 1911.